So one of the key features uh, that we comment about MoCP is uh, its uh, uh, usage of biometric uh, data, which makes it uh, advantageous in countries who do not have uh, existing identification systems or existing source of information for individuals, uh, which is difficult to uh, make it uh, uniquely identify individuals and uh, uh, serve as a single uh, source of truth. So the biometric nature makes uh, the construction of or the, the development of an identity uh, system from uh, the ground up where uh, it can be eventually uh, a single source of, source of truth um, and reliably identifying, uh, uniquely identifying every individual uh, registered. So uh, it, it, this has been uh, a key feature that uh, we have uh, used and utilized as uh, uh, an advantage for the Ethiopian uh, context where we had experience uh, in ID uh, um, as uh, an ID identification service, but which has not been uh, uh, reliable uh, so far. So uh, using MOSI, we have uh, developed a new digital uh, identif identification system uh, that is more uh, reliable and uh, sustainable uh, to uh, the uh, long uh, time uh, in the future. Uh, the second uh, critical feature that uh, we uh, found interesting is the uh, mechanism by which MOSIP protects uh, the individual's uh, privacy uh, in that uh, the identity data in some way or uh, another will be shared uh, to service uh, providers, but the data sharing is controlled by uh, the individual uh, in that the individual must give consent for every uh, type of uh, data sharing. So, uh, so this is uh, one uh, key feature. Uh, the other thing that uh, helped uh, us uh, uh, expand uh, the identity, uh, this uh, registration uh, process is that the uh, capability to work or to uh, register individuals uh, in an offline uh, manner. MOSIP uses a registration uh, uh, application uh, which works offline uh, in that uh, in a country where uh, digital infrastructure, especially networking, is not uh, that reliable, uh, such type of offline registration makes it as scalable and as uh, reachable to remote areas as uh, possible. And that uh, is helping uh, us uh, a lot. Uh, the other thing is that uh, when we come to uh, the authentication side, everyone uh, after everyone registers, uh, they, they get uh, digital IDs, but they, they will be authenticated. Uh, so MOSIP has made the authentication uh, module uh, uh, separate from the core registration platform, which makes it highly scalable uh, and highly available in that uh, uh, there is a possibility to uh, deploy it at different locations with different uh, specific uh, requirements, uh, fulfilling the real-time response uh, requirements of uh, the authentication uh, service. Um, uh, in general, uh, we, we can also see it from the core nature of MOSIP, which is uh, open and open, open source and utilizing uh, open standards, which gave us the opportunity to uh, use it uh, from you know, the technical uh, capability uh, building uh, perspective 
and uh, to uh, um, extend it to our own, own uh, context and uh, even rebranding it to um, uh, our um, uh, 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 cultural and um, uh, technical uh, per perspective. Uh, as you see, uh, we uh, uh, branded it as uh, FIDA, which means uh, value in uh, many languages of uh, the country. Uh, so, uh, from uh, the coming to the uh, impact uh, perspective, the, we can see it from uh, several uh, aspects. Uh, one of which is the um, uh, the value for the society as large and uh, the individuals uh, as a whole, uh, where. Uh, because you know the uh, uh, the critical um, dependency of the platform is on biometrics, it reduced for the requirement of uh, other forms of uh, prerequisite uh, credentials, so that it made it reachable to everyone who can present any uh, type of uh, uh, evidence uh, for citizenship or uh, um, local re residency uh, in the country. Uh, and from uh, the technology aspect, uh, we can see it uh, from uh, the economic uh, value uh, so that uh, it uh, reduces the total uh, cost of ownership in which uh, uh, even, even though we, we still use uh, vendor technologies to integrate with uh, MOSIP, the core platform is still maintained and managed by uh, internal capacity, which gives, uh, which, which also gave us the capability to operationally uh, manage uh, the operational aspects of uh, the digital ID. Uh, uh, as a whole, so uh, from the long term perspective, it has uh, impact in reducing the uh, total uh, cost. So uh, these are uh, our uh, the, the, our experience somehow uh, so far on MOSIP. In the future, uh, we will uh, expand it uh, to different use cases. Uh, uh, both at the federal and uh, the regional levels where different functional services will uh, continue utilize, utilizing it. Uh, and on the background, we will also expand the uh, infrastructure and uh, all necessary uh, software and application extensions on uh, the platform uh, so that it can be used in different recent the technological uh, developments including uh, mobile uh, platforms for uh, both online and offline users from the registration and also uh, authentication uh, aspects uh, finally i would i would like also to say that uh, when uh, that when we start uh, mosip we have used other um, countries, uh, other countries' experiences, such as uh, India itself, as the source of MOSIP, uh, Philippines and Morocco. And we have uh, brought it th this far uh, as a, a national experience. So this gave us a lot of uh, 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 capabilities that we can also uh, share to other countries coming to MOSIP um, recently and possibly in the in the future.